Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review on the new Patrick Ta. Um, these are his brow waxes and I'm super excited to try these out. I also ended up picking up the brush. I picked these guys up during Sephora's VIB sale. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. All right guys, so this is what the packaging looks like. It is rose gold and mirrored. They're both kind of the same packaging. And this is what they both look like on the inside. This one's a tinted one and this one is the clear one. Let's go ahead and open up the brush it came with. So I'm not sure how I want to do this. Um, I think that I want to do one side with the tinted and then one side with the clear. So I'm also going to be using this Urban Decay Brow Blade. I'm not 100% sure how this is going to come out because my brows are super thick right now. Especially, you know, quarantine guys, so haven't been able to get my brows done and I don't trust myself doing them. So yeah, let's see what it's going to look like. So first I am just brushing my brows. I like the brush so far. So the way that these brow axes work is that they are activated with water or with a setting spray. I decided to use water and I decided to go ahead and use the water versus a setting spray only because I'm not sure what ingredients are in the setting spray and I wouldn't want it to mess with the product. So the first shade that I'm going to go in with is going to be the clear shade. I'm going to go with the clear one first just because we don't know what the tinted one is going to kind of do to the then brush. I'm going to go ahead and run the spoolie into the wet. I'm going to go ahead and use the mirror that comes with the product. So essentially what you're supposed to do is go in with this product and then go in with a pencil or brow blade in my case and then fill in the sparse spots that you think need a little bit more coverage. And this is really supposed to give you that real like feathery kind of looking brow. So this is what the brow is looking like. Now I'm going to go in with the tinted shade and let's see how that works out. If you're going to go ahead and purchase the tinted shade, one thing I would keep in mind is make sure you're doing your brows before you do your foundation. I can already see how it's leaving a tint above my brow right here for instance just in case you guys didn't know this is supposed to really mimic that soap brow brow I know that it was really popular for a while I've never tried putting soap in my brows but I can definitely feel how this product really locks in your brows I feel it right now. I feel like my brows are not really moving. Let's go ahead and use this brow blade. Again, I am in the shade Neutral Nana. This is what the brow blade looks like. It's like a little pencil, so it's really supposed to let you mimic what real brow hair would look like. All right, so I went ahead and added in the brow blade. And now I'm just going to spoolie at my brows. So I'm actually going to go in with my normal brow pencil on this side and see how that looks. My normal brow pencil is this Anastasia Brow Wiz, and I'm in the shade medium brown. I am going to go in with the clean spoolie from my brow is and spoolie out the brows. So they are definitely intact. I feel them like pretty much glued to my skin. So this is kind of like a close up of what the brows look like. So this is what the brows look like. I kind of want to take one off and try doing my brows with my brow pencil and then adding in the brow wax and see how I like that. So I'll be right back. All right guys, so I'm back. 
I went ahead and took off the brows and now I'm going to redo my brows and see if I like that more. So again, to do my brows, I usually take the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And I'm just going to go ahead and do my brows how I would normally do it. So again, like I mentioned, my brows are pretty full right now only because I haven't gotten them waxed and I want to say it's been about three months since I've even gotten them waxed. I think the last time was like around Valentine's Day that I probably went to go get them waxed. The week that we actually announced that we were going to be on lockdown is when it was like that week that I knew I had to go get my brows done and I had to get my nails done and then we were locked down and I was like, oh well, looks like I'm not going anywhere. Alright, so now that I'm done filling in my brows, just going to spoolie everything out. Alright, and like last time, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the clear first and then I will go in with the tinted one. So I'm going to go ahead and tap off some of the product just because last time I did it, I feel like there was a little bit of like a clear white cast on the brows, like if I added too much product. So take some off and then I'm going to go in. I definitely think that I'm going to like this way better. So now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the tinted one. Alright guys, so my final thoughts on this product is that it's a really good product. I will definitely be using this in the future to go ahead and set my brows. I definitely prefer the way that I applied it the second time around. I think that it allowed for the best application process. I definitely would advise you guys to go ahead and apply your pencil and then go ahead and use this more as a setter. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought of the product and let me know if you guys are thinking of picking it up. And also let me know what you guys are currently using. You know, I would love to see what you guys are currently using. Currently, I was using the Benefit Brow Setter and I'm really interested to see what you guys are using. But before you guys click out of this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.